Greetings, everyone. Thank you for joining Bruce's Eclectic World and clicking on this video. This is a case that is the build part of the project. Then there's going to be a OS respin installed. And yes, it's epic because I'm going to film this. And see how well I can screw it up. <laughs> yeah, this is my first time doing this. Anyway, one of my adopted children had this and he ran his own paint shop and he hand painted this. This case was originally black. As you can see, it has all the area for the big fancy fans and see if I can get this turned around here so we can see the front and there is the front of it seen that in the other video and so forth see if I can turn this around here and get it to the side without falling off the desk and this is the other side you can see he went to great lengths to really do a great job of painting this also apologize for the light and all the other junk but then here's the back end as you can see it has keyboard mouse port several that's the usb2 usb2 usb3 more usb2 network and an onboard sound card video card we'll have to uh, pop the side off here and look at that in a minute and see what it is i have my capture card set hooked up to it and uh hold on just a second okay while well, i'm back the uh <laughs> yeah the phone went nuts this is new phone not quite sure if I like it, but it's, it's working. Anyway, don't know if I said it or not, but I, I got my video capture card hooked up. Ran over to another computer down yonder. Long story on that one. Anyway, this was a neighborhood kid that I raised. Everybody has some of those. I had at least seven, I think. They all still call me dad. Anyway, he run his own body shop and he custom painted this case. It's like I was saying, it was black to start with. Has all the big fans all over the place. Uh, here's the front of it. I get back here for enough. Don't look at all the other junk. <laughs> has two bays five and a quarter bays that's it uh, all the buttons are on top power reset light speaker microphone another set of usb3 ports and then there's the side like i said he uh he he painted this my understanding so I've not seen one like it. Anyway, let's pull the cover off here. Thumb screws, you gotta love them. Whoops, and everything's gonna fall off. And as you can see in the other video, there's the insides. Okay, we're back. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, this is a uh, MSI 97A G43 AMD FX63 chip, 16 gig of RAM. There's the RAM up in there. 
I had this fancy cooler on. It's got two fans. Oh, that was kind of interesting. There's a, I don't know if you can see up in here. There's a fan there. Uh, where's my flashlight? <laughs> this works better when you have more light. Let's, let's get more light. Ah, more light. Not very good light. Maybe if I do it like this, it works better. There we go. You can see all the slots. All the other innards. For those that are interested and want to know, there it is. And there's the power supply. This is one of those modular power supplies. I only had the one cord for the one hard drive. I had one from another power supply I didn't use, the red plug here. And I made it uh, with, with older cables, as you can see here. So, let me get my fingers out of the way. It's kind of hard to do this, the whole light and this at the same time. <laughs> better planning works better. Anyway, that's the original hard, Western Digital hard drive. That's a test hard drive with mint on it. Uh, well, this is quite fumbly, isn't it? Okay, so the drive that we're going to put in it for this build and the secret OS is going to be installed on it is this, which was a Christmas present for one of my kids. I've had a 120 and it works pretty good. So let's see how one terabyte does. Uh, I was going to record this with my laptop, but two cores and eight gigs just ain't enough. Well, it's the two cores. OBS just kills it. <laughs> so that's why we have the webcam. Don't pay attention to all the junk. Uh, this is my modeling station. Where I do my model cars actually, as, as obvious by all the paint and whatnot. And there's my TV computer screen. So, for those that are like looking at other people's junk, there it is. Uh, and I have. My mini M1 keyboard down here I use all the time. I have a Logitech M keyboard MX300 and a mouse. But I prefer trackball actually, but anyway. One moment please while I uh, pull out the video card because I'm sure somebody's going to want to see the video card. One moment, please. Okay, here's the video card. Whatever that is. I use HDMI as much as possible because that way I don't have to fool with a sound card. Here's the other side. For those that want to see the tag. Okay, well, there we go. That's the video card. <coughs> and the inside of the case, that's a video card. I'm sure someone would want to see that. Okay. AM3 CPU support, so there we go. Lots of jumpers and all kinds of stuff. A little newer than I'm used to, but it's a uh, 
From what testing I've done on it, it does run very well. Ooh, get it back to where it needs to be. There we go. So anyway, this is part one of the build. Oh, yeah. The other part that I left out earlier was the Manjaro machine that I was going to use down here. Decided to take a dive yesterday, so I lost all my footage, so I'm doing this all over again. Yay! So, <laughs> the video is delayed in production. Imagine that. I bet that's never happened on YouTube. Okay, so, we're, uh, took the S SD card card uh, drive out of the box and this is what it is Turn it around here people might want to see all the fancy info info part but one of my children bought this for me for my Christmas and I'm going to put it in this tray and if you look the rubber positionings are for these three and a half drives and they conveniently put little holes for SSD cards. Isn't that awesome? As you can see there's various positions for the boat patterns for the other drives. So that's kind of awesome. I had to dig up some screws that's short enough. I found two, but that's okay. Two's all it needs. It's not like we're holding up the space shuttle or anything. So, anyway, hang on a second. I'll be right back. Okay, I put you uh, <laughs> in a stand. A little on the wobbly side, but anyway, you stick this. Here like that, and you turn it over. So when you turn it around the right direction, you definitely want these facing the outside because this is the outside of the cage. Line up the little hole. Pick up your screwdriver. Put your screw on a screwdriver. I hold it with my finger like that. So I can get it started, line up the hole, and then, ta-da, you do this other one the same way. See how I only have two, I'm going to put the other one, I'm sorry, you can't see, I'll put the other one right there. I'm not used to filming, hey, I'm just an old guy. With a webcam and a cell phone and a computer, okay? We'll say roll. And there. There you go. It's installed. Now, let me see if I can get you adjusted up here. So you can see that. Okay, so right here, let me put a little more light on it. Right there, you can see these slots right here. And you're not up high enough yet. There you are. How's that? There you go. Goes right in there like that. Whoa, bumped you. <laughs> Didn't mean to give you a kick. Anyway, this plugs in here like this. Ta da. And that plugs in there like that. 
Come on, blind man, hit the hole. And then... Slide in there just like that. You have a drive installed. Isn't that awesome? Whoop! I dropped my light. This is poor planning on my part. Sorry, I'm just to learn how to do this, and that's the way life is, right? You learn everything. Okay, did some research, and I don't know if you can see it. Right there, it says fractal design. This is a about an eighty to ninety dollar case, from what I can discover. From the interwebs, uh, this is the Core 3500 case, and if it wouldn't have been modified, right down here, it would have said had a badge that said Fractal. As you can see, there's nothing there. Like I said, this was. Uh, a custom paint job that he did. Uh, he built his computer for his business. Had Windows 7 not registered on this drive right down here. Um, when I got it, it, it did not boot. Did a bunch of testing. Had to replace two of the DDR RAM chips sticks and uh, change some settings in the BIOS and make it work better. Uh, the video card I found out is a AMD XFX 6450 I got it wrote down and it's a 1 gig video card has HDMI, VGA and DVI outputs on it. The power supply, which I did not look up because it's a power supply. I mean, there it is. It's from New Mexico. Roswell. <laughs> Just kidding. That's for all you space nuts out there. Anyway, the there's the information. I mean, what more can you say? It's a power supply. Uh, you've seen one bar supply, you've seen them all, more or less. Um, so we're going to put her through her paces when we do the OS install. That is all the information I have on all this stuff. There, There is information in the description below, where we're at, there you are, <laughs> for the CPU, the RAM, the motherboard, the video card, the CPU, the case. You already seen the parts of pie, so there it is. We got the new SSD card hooked up, ready to go. All we need to do is put a USB stick in it and fire it up and see what happens. What do you think? Will it work? It should, because it worked in testing. Anyway. This case, by the way, if I had not mentioned it, is a Fractal Core 3500 case. It's like an $80 case. Uh, some information instead of some Sweden. I don't know. Who knows? Uh, anyway, if it was a regular case, it would have the badge right there. It says Fracto on it. But since he did a custom paint job, it's not there. Probably already mentioned that. But, you know, I'm old. I'm 68. I don't remember what I did once. 
15 minutes ago. Besides record this for the third time. <laughs> yeah, well, there is that. Anyway, I hope I got it right this time. Practice makes perfect. So you practice too. And you can be almost as good as somebody else. Anyway, there you go. I'm going to go work on some of this video since I've lost all of it because that guy down there decided to work the hard drive. So now it has our cool Linux on it. Get my finger out of the way. So we got to get it set up so we can record with that and that. So that's going to be the next thing. I will see you later. Bye. Okay, so with that said, and I've been editing some of the other video I've already shot. Uh, this is turning into a 30 minute video, so this is going to be a two part video. Isn't that exciting? Stay tuned. There will be an OS on this system yet. Yay! Talk to y'all later. Bye. Oh, bye. Stay tuned for part two.